First, it started with one, but then it ended up with two. I'm about to, uh, and we're about to get into this, y'all. But first, intro. Yo, what's good guys? It is your boy Jason JV saying welcome to another edition of Method to the Madness. And yes, yes, y'all, this be episode 10, and we are about to get into a cover that I've been wanting to talk about for a long, long time. And I'm glad um I, I'm glad I'm making this a second of the two episodes, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, I wanted to get that last one out of the way and uh, put that nonsense behind me and because I really want to get into this one and I know y'all are dying to hear the backstory of this one so let me go ahead and kick things off with what led up to getting this made now be advised this cover is actually um, I want to say at least two years in the making if not at least maybe maybe two and a half years in the making um, I've been wanting to do this for a good minute and um, I originally wanted to do this one by myself. I wanted to see if I can really, you know, put my vocal skills to the test. I want to see if I can really, you know, do justice to, you know, a completely different version of uh, this song right here, which is one of my all time favorite songs from one of my all time favorite bands. Uh, rest in peace, Chester Bennington. Um, but um, yeah, no matter what I tried, I kept, I kept practicing, practicing, practicing. I kept recording take after take after take after take. And I was doing whatever I could with the mixing. Then I was having trouble finding the right beat. Well, first I was having trouble finding the right beat. And then when I finally got the beat, when I finally figured out, okay, how I can get the beat onto um, my doll and started recording my takes, I knew I had the, the uh, Shinoda raps down you know, to a T. I knew I had that. So I was nailing those. I was nailing the uh, the uh, verses. And then came the challenge. The Chester portion of the song. And I tried. I tried many different ways. Various ways. And I was like, I'm just, I'm just not there yet. You know? Um, and I don't want to put out something that, you know what I mean? It, it to where it, it didn't feel like, um, there was a lot of heart into it, you know what I mean? There was a lot of soul into it, you know, and, um, you know what I mean? Um, I didn't want to put something that was going to tarnish, you know what I'm saying? Um, the original version of the song, you know what I mean? And, um, just give the wrong impression. So I said, you know what? I need a vocalist on here. Who can I get? I started thinking about it. Then all of a sudden, boom, scheme comes out with his, um, you know, discount deals for his services, you know, his features, his uh, mixing and everything. And I said, you know what? It makes all the sense in the world for two guys who are fans of this great band. You know what I mean? Um, and I don't know if Scheme loves this song as much as I do. This is one of my favorite songs. Um, Scheme may feel differently. I don't know. I'll let him speak for himself. Um, as far as how much he loves the song. Um, but this was something I really wanted to get done and I wanted to get and I wanted it to be done right. So I figured, okay, Scheme's got the, the uh, discount deal going. Let me go ahead and hit him up and see what we come up with. And so um, let's go ahead, uh, play a little bit of this. Uh, let's get into the first verse and uh, hear this beat. Cause I love, I love what he did with the beat. Now, 
um, I don't know. Some people thought that the verse, my, my verse is sounding a little bit off. Um, so I, I had to go back and give this a few listens. And if it sounds a little off for some of you, for some reason, it's because um, the beat or the instrumental that I originally rapped on, well, it was not this one. Um, I had since scheme um, an instrumental that um, ideally I wanted to use and I thought we were going to use that one. Um, I don't know if he uh, resampled that instrumental that I sent him or if he built a whole new one from, from scratch. Uh, Scheme, if you're watching this and you want to, you know, let us in on your process with the instrumental, uh, feel free to do so in the comment section. That will be greatly appreciated. Um, so, yeah, the, the, the B is not the one that, that, that I sent him. Um, he, like I said, I don't know if he resampled this or if he just uh, made, made his own, you know, with his own... Um, instrument loops and whatnot um that he may have created i don't know only he can tell us that um but uh i mean i don't know i i i think it's great you know i i stand by it i love it obviously a lot of you guys love it you guys dig it and everything which really means the world to me i appreciate that you know what i mean it's definitely um a confidence booster too for sure um and then the video the concept of the video I wanted it, it was a perfect theme especially for the day that I dropped this I dropped this on Friday the 13th it premiered on Friday the 13th you know Jason Voorhees one of my favorite um, slasher killers if not my favorite slasher killers you know what I'm saying my, one of my favorite horror icons um, <clears throat> I kind of obviously I modeled my my persona my rap persona you know based off of him just a little bit of a, of a flair a little bit of a difference kind of making my own you know the hockey mask with the hoodie and the hoodie up to kind of make it, you know, like that, like kind of give it off that, that Grim Reaper type vibe. Um, so yeah. Um, and with, with what the song is about, you know what I'm saying? And just, yeah, given the subject matter of the song, the content of the song, I felt like this video was very fitting. Having us, you know, pop in whenever our parts, uh, come up. I thought that was another, um, nice touch as well. You know what I mean? Just to kind of give this a more collaborative, uh, music video type of vibe, you know what I mean, that I was going for here, um, and and then uh, the images that, that I use for both myself and Scheme, these are AI generated images, um, this one, um, I just typed in the prompt, you know, of what I was going for, for, you know, my, my, uh, my rap persona, the, uh, the JV persona, and um, <clears throat> this was like the best result that I can get, it truly represents me, um, so I had to get that one. Scheme's image, if it looks familiar to you, that is because I use um, one of his um, one of his art portraits, if you will. I ran that through the AI generator that allows you to use like an image that you want to modify or whatever, and I just typed in Deadpool since he's the Deadpool of YouTube. You know what I'm saying? And that was the best result that I can get. So. Yeah, if it kind of looks like Deadpool, that was done on purpose. So, and someone asked me, you know, what is it that that scheme's holding in his hand? AI generators, they're very random when they generate images. So I I can't tell you what it is that he's holding. Um, it's pretty much up to your your imagination. Maybe it's a broken microphone. You know what I'm saying? Maybe it's a maybe it's a blunt or something. I don't know. It's it's pretty much up to your your imagination. I can't tell you what it is. Um, here, let's go ahead and continue on. Right out the window, trying to hold on. They didn't even know I wasted it all just to watch you go. Kept so since we got him on here, yeah. So as you can tell, yeah, there, <laughs> there is no telling what that is that he's holding right there in his hand. Like I said, that's up to y'all's imagination. Like I said, it could be um, a broken mic, it could be a blunt, it could be maybe like a dagger, a sword, something. I don't know. You know what I mean? With just the hilt showing. Um, that is completely up to your guys' uh, interpretation. But yeah, as you can tell, though, it's completely um, AI generated. So anyway. Everything inside, even though I tried, it all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time when I tried, I tried so hard. hard. It got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I had to fall to lose it all. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. One thing, I don't know why, it doesn't even matter. 
So yeah. Um, now I wasn't sure about his take on the hook at first. Like I said, it took a few listens for me to really, you know, take everything in. That's what she said. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I had, I had to give it a few run throughs. You know what I mean? And really to really listen to it and listen to everything, really everything that was done, you know, on the vocal side of the thing with the instrumental and then see how everything just came together. Um, but the more I listened to it, the more I was just like, yeah, man, I mean, this, this is cool. I mean, I like the creative decisions he did vocally because it makes it feel like this is more of our own. You know what I mean? Like this is truly our version um, of this song. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, man. I mean, so yeah, like I said, man, I'm really good. I'm really good with this, man. I, I, like I said, I appreciate everything that he, he, uh, did on this, not just, you know, providing his vocals for the feature, but then also, you know, engineering, doing the mixing, the mastering, and then also providing the instrumental, doing the instrumental. I mean, this was it really, it's above and beyond what, what I can really ask for. You know what I mean? This is far better than what I was expecting. I mean, this exceeds all expectations for me. So, and, and it was, it, it was a fun time. You know what I mean? Um, well worth the wait. Uh, it was done. I want to say for maybe about, about a month or so, um, you know, and, um, I, I, I don't want to bug him about it. Cause I know, like I said, he has, you know, like other projects and other things he's got going on. Plus he's got a family to, you know, to spend some time with as well. So I was trying to be, you know, courteous of all those things. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Um, trying to be, you know, as considerate about it. And it wasn't until I believe towards the end of December, I know it was an Alpha Tyler live stream. I want to say it was an ATRL stream or it might've been that special uh, New Year's stream. I think Tyler did. Either way, I saw Scheme in the chat and I finally decided to ask him like, you know, and, and I was trying to be as cool about it as possible. Cause again, I don't want to give the wrong impression. Um, and then Scheme said that he, he was going to have it done by early January and everything. So I was like, all right, cool, perfect. And surely enough, got it, put the video together and was able to get it set up for the premiere on Friday the 13th, which is, you know, honestly, it wasn't an idea that I had at first, but with given with the timing and everything, I was like, yeah, I think for a song like this, you know what I'm saying? It, it makes all the sense in the world to, uh, to drop it on that day, especially with, with the with the theme that I was going for on this, you know what I mean, with the video, with the thumbnail and everything, and again with my rap persona, you know, hockey mask person with the hoodie on and everything, it just seems fitting, you know what I mean. So everything fell well into place, and um, yeah, I'm just happy with the way everything worked out. Anyway. One thing I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try. Keep that in mind. I designed this rhyme to remind myself how I, I tried try so hard. In spite of the way you were mocking me, acting like I was part of your property. I kind of like that effect right there when Scheme disappeared and then we had one of those spirits kind of come up. It looked like it snatched him away, which is kind of funny. I'm sorry, but that to me was kind of funny. That was, I swear, I did not mean for that to happen on purpose. That was one of those things that just happened on, I uh, swear, like on accident, man. <laughs> Hard, in spite of the way you were mocking me, acting like I was. I'm sorry, I had to see that again because to me it was, it, was, it was funny, but <laughs> anyway. Part of your property, remembering all the times you fought with me. I'm surprised they got so things aren't the way they were before. You wouldn't even recognize me anymore. Not that you knew me back then, but it all comes back to me in the end. You kept everything inside, and even though I tried, it all fell apart. What it meant to me will eventually be a memory of a time I, I tried, tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. I so yeah, I mean, not, not, not to my own horn, but like I said, man, I, I love, you know, what he did as far as the mixing on, on the verses and everything. It really brought out the best of my vocals and everything. Um, and then I just love the, the, the uh, dynamic he and I have. I don't want to say it's it's the same dynamic because I don't want to sound like, Oh yeah, we're just as good as those guys. When no, I, I don't, I don't want to give that impression. You know what I'm saying? Um, I will say that we at least have a similar dynamic. You know what I mean? Um, 
You know, because, you know, I got and, and it works out for the better because and the reason why I'm saying, you know, what I mean, we have a similar dynamic is because obviously both Mike Shinoda and I have a much lower register. You know what I'm saying? Not the same, but similar. You know what I'm saying? Whereas with Scheme, it was best for him to do all of Chester's parts because him and Chester have that higher register. Not exactly the same, but similar, you know, so I feel like, you know, putting him there and having me where I was, you know what I'm saying, it just makes all the sense in the world, and I think it's one of those things that really, really helps, you know, in paying uh, respects to the original version of the song, the original song, um, you know what I mean, and as well as paying respect to uh, Chester as well, you know what I'm saying, so yeah, <clears throat> and, and of course Mike Shinoda, sorry, I don't mean to leave anyone out. I'm not going to lie, when he did that, like, okay, I, I understand you didn't want to, like, do exactly like how Chester did, but I kind of felt like, um, after he kind of stopped, you know what I mean, one thing you should know, and then we have a little bit of a gap there, I kind of wish he would have added just a little something there, maybe like a, like a, like a added vocal, like a, like a, when you stop at no, and then space a little bit, and then go, oh, you know what I mean, like, maybe something like that. But, you know, minor nitpick, really. I'm still happy with the, with the creative decision that he did. Um, but had he done that, you know what I mean? I think I would have liked that just a little bit better. But overall, I'm still happy with it. You know what I mean? So, it is what it is. I put my trust Yeah, overall, man, I'm still happy with the way he, he nailed that bridge. You know what I mean? He really owned it there, made it his own, um, which is really all I can I can ask for, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the day. And, um, yeah, I, I, I just appreciate how much into it. Like, you, you, you can feel that, man. When he hit that bridge, you just feel it, you know what I mean? So, yeah, again, Scheme, thank you, sir. Appreciate that. I tried so hard and got so far. Real quick before this closes out, I just want to say, yo, kudos on this beat. I, I, li I like the way this instrumental turned out. I, I, I do. I like it far better than um, the one I thought we were going to use. <laughs> but anyway. So really the the what I love most about this instrumental is that it still has that familiar sound that the original has but it's different enough for it to be its own separate thing, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, um yeah, I really like this this instrumental the way it came out. I, the song overall, I really appreciate the way it came out. Um yeah, so yeah, I'm happy with it. Um I see that a lot of you are happy with it, you know what I mean? And again, thank you guys for, you know, showing love. You know what I mean? Supporting the song uh, means the world. <clears throat> and yeah, um, feel free to sign off in the comment section down below. You know what I mean? We, we can still talk about it. You know what I mean? I, I mean, why not? And um, I'm glad that uh, I decided to, you know, ask Scheme to not only be a feature, but to, you know, mix, but to mix it as well. Because um, I feel like this song was 
a great opportunity to kind of see, you know, how our voices would, would mesh um, with, with each other. You know what I'm saying? Because um, I did tell Scheme in the comment section on this um, song that um, I would like to do some more stuff with him, and hopefully in the near future, um, depending on what I have lined up. You know what I mean? Um, if I got something that that um, that requires someone of his skill set, then I'll definitely hit him up again. And uh, Scheme, if you're watching this, if you got something down the pipeline that you think I would be good for, I mean, feel free to hit me up. Let me know. I'm totally down to collab again uh, anytime. And uh, yeah. So yeah, overall very pleased with it. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much uh, the uh, story of this song, how how it came about. You know what I mean? Originally it was gonna be just me. Um, I didn't think um, that I was capable enough to do the whole thing on my own. So I'm glad I I decided to make this a collab. You know what I'm saying? Again with someone who is also a fan that you know what I mean that can appreciate uh, what I was trying to accomplish with this. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, I just think it makes all the sense in the world. Like I said, Scheme's a Lincoln Park fan. I'm a Lincoln Park fan, you know, so I thought this would be a great way to see how we can work together, you know what I mean? And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, and who knows where, where it leads. Like I said, I'm, I'm open to any collapse, whether it's something on my end or something on your end, Scheme, let me know. Um, uh, we, I'm definitely down anytime for more, more collabs, um, and uh yeah let me and you and again i want to hear from you guys in the comment section down below would you guys like to hear me and scheme collab again you know what i mean uh where, where do you guys stand uh with that uh feel free to let me know in the comment section down below i'm looking forward to reading all you guys' comments as i always do and uh yeah that's pretty much for this episode of method to the madness appreciate y'all um coming around showing love if you're new here don't forget to uh, subscribe um that would really help out the channel. Speaking of helping out the channel, don't forget to check out, of course, all the links in the description down below, including the merch store. Um, I got a new line in the second merch shop. Uh, feel free to go check that out. Um, pick up an item or two. That would be greatly appreciated. We'll also help out the channel. And, uh, yeah. Till the next one, y'all bless one. All right? Later. Jason JV on YouTube. Uh, what's up with you, Jason JV? What up, Jason? JV. Just sending love, peace, and blessings to you. JC, you are my homeboy, my guy. Don't call me guy, pal. Don't call me buddy, pal. Much love to you, JV. Chris Calico. Cali, baby. Oh. What's up, JV? My name is Jimmy Patrick. I'm going to have to do that to do it. I'm going to say what's up to you. Take your motherfucking head up. Uh, uh, I don't know why you said it. If you said it, you said it, you said it, you happy. I'm going to be too happy. I'm going to be expecting shit. It's like you're